Hi, I'm Colin G. West. Some science facts are so cool that once you learn them, you can't unthink them. You hear a lot about overachieving people, but this week I want to talk about an overachieving spacecraft. Next time you hear the phrase, going the extra mile, I bet you're going to think about this. All right, the spacecraft I want to talk about is Voyager 1, an ambitious little robot that's made tremendous contributions to science and is the holder of one of the coolest records I can imagine. But we'll get to that in a second. It all began when Voyager 1 was launched into space from Cape Canaveral on September 5th, 1977, which means that as we're recording this, Voyager 1 is excitedly looking forward to celebrating its 40th birthday. Of course, you know what they say, you're not supposed to anthropomorphize robots because they hate it when you do that but I can't help myself. Voyager's primary mission was supposed to last three years and include a close-up study of Jupiter, Saturn, and Saturn's gigantic moon Titan. If that had been the only thing it had accomplished, it would already have been enough to have made it a legend in the scientific community. For example, the planet Jupiter has a set of rings around it, much like the more famous rings around the planet Saturn. No one knew that until the Voyager spacecraft did what we couldn't and went to check in person, or in spacecraft. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Voyager 1 also showed us that Jupiter's great red spot is basically a massive hurricane-like storm. It discovered that certain parts of Jupiter and Saturn both experience a phenomenon equivalent to our northern lights, and it found the first active volcanoes ever witnessed beyond Earth itself, which Voyager caught right in the active eruption on Jupiter's moon Io. And that's not even the end of the list. That's just where I have to stop if I want to have time to tell you about what happened next. Because after it had finished with Saturn, NASA scientists decided they should let Voyager 1 continue on and see what else it could discover as it traveled further and further from the Earth. Now Voyager is moving through space at around 38,000 miles per hour, which means it travels the width of the United States every four minutes. But even at that speed, its journey has been a long one. Saturn is around one billion miles away from the Sun, and it took Voyager 1 around three years to get there. It would be nine more years before Voyager was beyond the orbit of Neptune, the outermost planet. And it took another 23 years after that for Voyager to reach its next destination, what we call the heliopause. To understand what the heliopause is, you first have to remember that even far away from the stars and planets, outer space is not quite as empty as you might think. In any fist-sized region of space, you're likely to find a handful of atoms and particles. There's always a little bit of stuff around. What concerns us is where that stuff comes from. You see, in a huge region of space, the source of this stuff is the sun itself. Because of its heat, the sun is constantly throwing off charged particles like electrons and protons. And this steady stream of matter pushing outwards from the sun is called the solar wind. Like the armies of ancient Rome patrolling the farthest boundaries of their empire, the solar wind marks the extent of the sun's territory, far beyond Neptune and well into the depths of outer space. But even that tremendous dominion has a limit. At some point, the outward flow of the solar wind gives way to the inward pressure of particles called the interstellar medium, particles which did not come from our sun, but rather are drifting in from elsewhere in the universe. That boundary is the heliopause and it marks the transition between our familiar solar neighborhood and the rest of the universe. On August 25th, 2012, 11 billion miles from its home and truly having gone the extra mile, Voyager 1 detected a sudden dramatic decrease in the number of solar wind particles striking it from behind, and an increase in the number of cosmic rays striking it from in front. Scientists concluded that it had discovered the heliopause and become the first man-made object ever to venture beyond the sun's territory into the vast unknown of interstellar space. But Voyager has just kept going. It's now 13 billion miles from home, holder of a world record that it breaks every day as the most distant object humankind has ever sent forth into the universe. Of course, Voyager 1 is a world record holder in another sense as well, because it contains within it the famous Golden Record, a repository of greetings, sound, and music from all across the world, just in case someday it winds up in the hands of an alien civilization. And yes, if you're wondering, it does contain a set of IKEA-style directions designed to help these aliens figure out what a record is and how to play one. Though these days, maybe they're so hipster that they already know. 
So that's our show. This week more than ever, check out the video description for links where you can learn more about the topic, because there's so much more I wanted to say about Voyager that I just didn't have time to fit into the video. For example, I haven't even said anything yet about Voyager's twin sister, Voyager 2, which was a pretty impressive spacecraft in its own right. Check it out. In the meantime, if you enjoyed the show, subscribe to our channel for more science thoughts you can't unthink, and click the like button if you enjoyed this episode in particular. You can find me on Twitter at, at Colin G. West, because I am Colin G. West. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. As the Secretary General of the United Nations, an organization of 147 member states who represent almost all of the human inhabitants of the planet Earth, I send greetings on behalf of the people of our planet. Bonjour tout le monde. Maya Lagnia. Shalom. Hola y saludos a todos. Selamat malam hadirin sekalian. Selamat berpisah dan sampai bertemu lagi di lain waktu. Kay pacemat na titapas nay tapas lima payas teruna sini. Oji diano. Ashuli. Namaskar. Bishe shanti ho. Salvete qui cumque estis. Bonam erga vos voluntatem abemus et pacem per astra ferimus. Shalom. Hartelijke groete aan iedereen. Herzliche Grüße an alle. Assalamu alaikum. Konnichiwa, o genki desu ka? Tartike basion ki orse namaskar. Yake dai hui an aur akanoi soi. Tanti auguri e saluti. Ai buon. Si ani bingalela makawe. Sini pisela in gonzo ende. Ria dumelisa marena. Sonada ka. Hello from the children.